die! All right, what's happening, man? Hey, it's Octave, Octave, die! So uh, when it's Octave Day, I'm just going to start at the, begin it's the beginning of a word, and then the last end of the word is going to be an octave, like, Octave! It's going to be like, wait, what's going on? What's happening? That's going to be annoying as f So I'm going to stop right now. Okay, you know what? Let me um, not promote anybody, but take a drink of water here. And bottle coming! <laughs> and this is January 1969 Les Paul Standard. One piece mahogany body, one piece neck with a maple top, two P90s, same as 1955 to 56. Um, and you, oh wow, yeah, it's got a little dingy, but it's kind of like character. It's sexiness. That's what's happening right there. Um, okay, so. Uh, this was the first Les Paul to be reintroduced into the market in, in late 1968. Um, they stopped making Les Pauls in, 60, in 1960, and they just stopped and started making other stuff. And then they thought, you know, maybe we should try bringing the Les Paul back, and they did. Later in 1969, Gibson changed the guitar to a three-piece sandwich body and a three-piece neck. Three-piece sandwich body and a three-piece neck. Yeah, what the f All right, so. Um, I'm tuned down, you're going, hey man, I don't, I'm not tuned to it, what's he tuned to, what's he tuned to? I'm tuned to mother O C sharp. Because I'm going to do a little like Sabbath and, and Van Halen. And... I don't know man, I'm feeling the Van Halen today. I saw them at the, I saw the Family and Friends show at the Forum a couple of weeks ago and it was amazing! Except for, man I love Dave, love Dave, but he had the, like the Britney Spears mic going on and doing like a hand show. And it's like, that's not rock and roll man. But I love Dave, alright. So, this is the Vox AC30, and I'm playing the neck pickup, drop C sharp. I'm going to use my favorite swamp riff. I've already done it today on the, the George Thurgood guitar in G. Now I'm going to do it in D. Hey man, let's try it with a middle position. Listen to that drop C sharp, man. Let's do it with the treble pickup. Evil robot. <laughs> Let's go back to clean because everybody's gonna go, man, that's it for the clean. So hey, you got this. Sounds like uh, the 45 play, no, playing in the 33. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, treble position. Evil robot. <laughs> Man, I can just drop C sharp all day, mother. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. We gotta find something other than a dog bark for this video because there's gonna be a lot of. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I can cool it, man. You're giving me the look, like stop it. No? Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, check it. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna do some Sabbath. Uh, wait, let's do this one first. <laughs> No, let's do this one first.
goes on and on, and it's awesome. What's it called? National Acrobat? That's right! It's on Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, the other song I was going to play, but I decided not to, except I'm going to play this. <laughs> That's all I remember from that one. Oh, oh, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do the B string trick. When you do Van Halen, like Run With The Devil or Unchained, which I'm about to play in drop C sharp. You gotta turn to the B a little flat. Like. That's because the B's a little flat, it sounds perfect. Now, but I'm gonna do. And so on and so on and so on and so on. Yeah! All right. Now, everybody's like, come on, Phil, let's hear more of this guitar. Well, uh, what am I going to do? Even though it's P90s, really fat sounding, it's going to be another guitar I'm going to. I'm glad I brought my truck. I'm going to throw like eight guitars in the back. I totally utilize my twin CD ABY bones amp switcher from radio radio there's an a B in both and to me it's like the best on the market I'm not I know everybody's like man this guy talks about gear but I, they didn't give me that I bought it just so you know <laughs> I buy stuff too um, we tried all kinds of a B boxes this one for me is the best because it actually has a 180 degree switch that if you you can invert it you hear the difference a lot of pedals you don't and it also has the ground lift so you don't have to plug in you know break a ground uh, peg, pin, the ground pin off your amp thing, or get a ground lift or something like that. And I smell something burning back here, I think it's the box. But, let's use it before it dies. Wait, let me tune. Okay, now I'm in E, e flat, just without, without the drop C sharp, it's just D sharp. <laughs> Of stuff. Oh, this is in, in uh, E flat. Oh man, last time I did this was in E. It was so hard to sing.
Now, I'm not going into the solo because, man, I'm just really impressed with this guitar. Like, what's the difference? The only thing that they didn't nail from the 50s was the, the headstock angle. In the 50s, it was a little, it was more. It was a bigger angle. But uh, this guitar sounds great. P90 sound great. They did a good job. A good job, boys. Good job. Okay, so I'm um, Phil X ending off with the gold top and the P90s and the little sexy little thing there. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you soon, mother-